Hey guys, we're going to try something a little bit different today. We've got here our Predator 2000 generator. Uh, it died a few days ago. Uh, I will tell you it has 20,000 hours on it. I know that. It's been running continuously for the last two and a half years. So, uh little bit of owner confession here up front. I will tell you that I have changed the oil in this thing twice. All right, guys, this is what y'all came for, I'm sure. Took about uh, 20 minutes or so to get to this point. All right, guys, so here's the wrap up. After 20,000 hours, pretty darn happy. I see some cross hatchings pretty much gone from the bore. It's pretty much been polished smooth, but, and I knew this because there was quite a bit of blow by on the unit when it was running. Um, but I see almost no vertical scoring. Everything looks good there. Uh, cylinder head, there's quite a bit of play in these rocker shafts. I don't think you can see that, but I can, I can rock them, <laughs> so to speak, back to side to side. There's, I can feel a fair amount of play in there. There's quite a bit of schmoo down in the head. Again, I think that's blow by from around the, the valve seals or the stems there, that is. No seals, the guides. Uh, I told you about the cam. It's pretty good. There's some wear on the sides of the round part of the lobe, which is, seems weird to me. That's just the ramp. Maybe that's where it hits first. I don't know. Cam guy's probably laughing at me right now, but that's what it is. Uh, I wouldn't really have a problem putting that back in a motor. Crankshaft. Uh, no appreciable wear here at all. Uh, I can feel just a tiny amount right there on the back side of that rod journal. But again, uh, the cost of these things, I probably wouldn't put it back in a motor, but uh, I don't think you'd have a problem if you did. Piston. This is obviously uh, probably what caused this rebuild. Quite a bit of quite a bit of wear. Those are valve pockets and a little pocket there for the spark plug. Um, with all the carbon on here, that may have been part of the problem. That carbon buildup may have beat it over time. If I rock. If I rock that, I can feel a slight amount of rocking. Again, probably not, you know, probably at its wear limit, but not uh, not at uh, Amish sawmill territory by any means. Uh, yeah. You guys couldn't be happier. Uh, for 600 bucks out the door, 20,000 hours of Practically no maintenance. I'll own that one. Uh, got to give you a big thumbs up, Harbor Freight, on this one. Uh, I got, definitely got my money's worth. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this, like, subscribe. Really helps, help to, helps the channel out. I'm really trying to build stuff up here and show you more what I do. So if you could like and subscribe, that really help. Take care, and uh, we'll see you next time.